uh, good afternoon once again. So the CCSA general meeting that we had this afternoon was chaired by the Prime Minister, Prayutan Ocha, and the major issues that were discussed in, in the meeting included the vaccination distribution uh, plan, the evaluation of that plan, the revision of the current measures, and the extension of the Phuket sandbox scheme, uh, which is called the 7 plus 7. The Prime Minister stressed the need for the acceleration of the inoculation and more efficient use of the antigen test kit, or ATK. He also expressed concerns over the enforcement of the bubble and seal measure at manufacturing plants, at the manufacturing plants and workers' campsites, and the transmission from the public gatherings or activities of the infection and emphasized all related agencies to adhere to the guidance and strictly, strictly conduct the procedures with the accurate uh, results. Now for the vaccination distribution plan, the meeting discussed the plan for September. The vaccination distribution plan in September will, remain, will still remain focused on the high risk groups such as people aged 60 years old and above, people with seven underlying diseases, the conditions and pregnant women with over 12 weeks of pregnancy. And people who receive the appointment for the second dose will get vaccinated as, appoint, as per the appointment. In the meeting, there was also a discussion on the other sources of vaccines, including uh, with foreign countries, uh, the cooperation with foreign countries. So the first is the vaccine swap arrangement between Bhutan, the country of Bhutan and Thailand, in which Bhutan will send around 130 to 150,000 do doses of AstraZeneca vaccine to Thailand on the basis that Thailand will send back vaccines to Bhutan later on. At the moment, the agreement is being reviewed and considered by the government. A second uh, collaboration with foreign countries regarding vaccines is with uh, Germany. The donation of monoclonal antibody from Germany, approximately one to 2,000 doses of monoclonal antibody produced by Regeneron Pharmaceuticals in Germany will be donated to Thailand. The antibody medicine proves to be effective for relieving cases with serious illnesses and fatalities at the rate of 50 to 70 percent. The CCSA general meeting already approved for the receiving of the donation and details will be further coordinated with the German side. As for the revision of the current disease control measures, I'd like to start off first by recapping uh, some of the details that Dr. Tuisin had mentioned. First is that uh, the measures will be retained from the 18th to the 31st of August, considering the number and situation that we have. There are uh, quite a number of new initiatives and strategies as well as actions, however, which will be added on to the coming weeks. Firstly, is the test, trace, and isolate strategy that will be continuously used for the use of the ATK in the most effective manner. Secondly, the expansion of the rapid teams, or which we call the CCRT. Thirdly, stronger use of the uh, work from home strategy, stressing that use for all government agencies as well as private companies and the testing of the ATK on a weekly basis for those who are at risk. Also, number four, there will be the preparation of the company isolation scheme for companies which have more than 50 uh, personnel. Fourth, there will be uh, the expediting of the vaccines for the elderly as well as the provision of favipilavir medicine for those in need. So this will be uh, maximized. Uh, fifth, we have the more uh, public use of the ATK, which the government will seek at, its, uh, at, at the best of its ability for it to be affordable and provide that service to the general public. Sixth, there will be the planning of the Thai COVID pass for those who have been vaccinated. And with this Thai COVID pass, it would be possible to 
enter into restaurants when they are open and conduct uh, some activities which are not allowed for those who have not been vaccinated. But for this detail, uh, this will be further discussed for the Thai COVID pass scheme. And seventh and lastly, a concrete uh, measure is that banks in department stores will be open. So we have a chart uh, coming up for you uh, from the uh, in, in English, and that is the summary of the various measures that we have for the dark red zone, the red zone, and the orange zone. We're in the essential change from the last week will be about the banks opening up in shopping malls now on. So just to repeat once again that due to the ongoing high infection rate, the current disease control measures have, that have been imposed are still effective with a few of the additions and changes that I mentioned just now. Uh, from this chart, the diff main difference is, of course, the, the banks and financial institutions within the malls. The disease control zones, the measures, uh, the zones by color uh, remains to, uh, implement, uh, to be implemented uh, in the same way that it has been in the past uh, weeks. The, for example, the curfew in the maximum and strict control area remains, the curfew remains, and other restrictions will continue. This, all of this will be effective on the 18th of August onwards. And the CCSA encourages everyone to use the antigen test kit, ATK, and the government will support the relevant agencies to make the ATK more accessible by the public. So I'll move on to the Phuket Sandbox Scheme, as mentioned by Dr. Thuy Sin just now, and you have a map there, a visual there on screen for you. The CCSA has approved the new measures for the Phuket Sandbox, uh, Sandbox Scheme, starting from the 17th of August tomorrow. So those who join the scheme can now, uh, flying from abroad, can now stay in Phuket for the first seven days. After receiving the transfer form from authorities, they can travel to other tourist destinations in, southern, in the southern provinces of Thailand, namely the provinces of Surat Thani, Krabi, and Panga, and, and be there, quarantine there for another seven days. So the extension part will be allowed for travelers on the sealed routes and for specific vehicles only. So as you see on the map there, you have examples of those uh, sealed groups uh, from staying in Phuket for seven days and going to another province for another seven days. So seven plus seven. CSC CSA has approved this and of course to officialize it uh, we'll have more details coming out and all the measures put in place as, as always. So with that note I thank you very much for your uh, attention. Uh, this is all for the English language summary of the general CCSA meeting, important meeting that we had this afternoon, which was chaired by the, chaired by the Prime Minister. I thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again on Wednesday for the next daily press briefing here at the CCSA. Sorry, Kap. Kap,